Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Thursday, January 7th, 2016. So it's my first Thursday of the semester, which is my first class for my management class. So we'll see how that's going to be. Uh, I haven't started anything on that yet. I've got a lunch here and my trusty R2-D2 lunch pail. So I'll probably start my reading over lunch. That's the plan. And we'll see how the stuff goes. I've been doing mainly doing my reading in my in the law class, the online law class. So, so I caught up yesterday on the Wookie Rookie podcast, and the, and, the, and I got a shout out in the uh, latest episode, which is uh, entitled "The Armless Strikes, Strikes Back." So we're talking about uh, Empire, and you know, one of the things that apparently I said that. Tickled them, I guess, or they they thought was amusing in some, to some degree, maybe. Is that is the way I described them? So I described Chris as a Brit, and I described, I described um, Mick as being, being from Scotland. And and they were kind of chuckling because well, aren't we both Brits? And I guess that's true. You know. I, what I was, I guess, what I was thinking of when I talked about that was their accents, because you know, Chris is from London. He lives in London. I just got done looking at his Facebook profile, and you know, so he's got a he's got a a London accent. I guess I would say, yeah. I, I'm not, you know, I, I can't. Well, I I know Liverpool <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, I couldn't really tell you London versus Birmingham, say, accents, uh, probably. Uh, but you know, and, and while, and then and then Mick is from from the the Scottish part of the United Kingdom, and and he's got a Scottish accent. I, I guess part of it was yeah. I don't know how. It seems like some people are kind of touchy about that, you know. If you say they're both they're both British, you know, but they're from Scotland, I, I, I've always kind of had the sense that some of the Scottish people are like, no, I'm Scottish! You know, and I, sorry for the horrible Scottish accent. But I, I guess maybe an equivalent would be as if, if somebody from England was to talk about you know, me and somebody else, and, and we're to say, you know, Keith is a Michigander, and so and so is from New York. Say, we were both Americans. Yeah, I don't know if you know. Like they said, well, you know, so and so was is, is from America, and Keith is from Michigan. I might be kind of going, well, I'm from America too. <laughs> And by the way, yes, Michigander is is what we're called. Don't ask me why. Uh, don't ask me why. But it just kind of it kind of highlighted to me, you know, how things about other countries we don't a lot, a lot of times we do not know that much about the workings of them and the differences of them. I'm reminded of a time, and this is back in 2000, I was a um, consultant for a software firm. And it was, it was during the time where we'd had the election of uh, Bush versus Gore, uh, George Herbert Walker Burke, no, George W. Bush versus Al Gore. And we, in essence, had a tie. Uh, and we had the issues in Florida where were things miscounted. We had the whole hanging Chad thing and, and all this. And so it actually, you know, the whole presidential election was kind of on hold for 
some time. I don't recall how long. I think it was a couple weeks at least. While the courts decided, I think it went all the way up to the to the uh, Supreme Court, decided, you know, what, who won the election? You know, how should these things be counted? And, and, and who won it? And at some point in the middle of, of all this wrangling about who won the election, I had a trip to Toronto for, for you know, some sort of a consulting gig. And, you know, Toronto's not that far from, from you know, the, the Detroit area. It's a five-hour drive. You know, so it's, it's like going to Chicago from here. It's about equidistant because that's about a five-hour drive as well. You know, so it's not it's not super far. But we spent the I remember we spent the lunch hour there with um, it was one of these things where we were like we were probably like having a meeting. We were in a conference room and then they brought lunch in, so we're just kind of sitting there chatting while we eat about non-work stuff. And these guys were like, so can you explain to me just what the hell's going on with your elections? <laughs> you know, and I, I explained it as best I could. But it was, it, was, it was just funny to me because it was, you know, the whole, the whole thing with the, you know, with, with the counting and then the electoral college business. I should, I should do a show on the electoral college at some point because uh, I, can, I can rough on that for a little while, but... That is a different podcast, I think. But we we spent, you know, most of the lunch hour, you know, talking about this stuff. And they were just flabbergasted that this was how stuff worked. That, uh, you know, and I don't know what would happen. I mean, because they have elections, I think, for their prime minister and whatnot. But I I know it works differently. Maybe, Maybe they don't really get into a problem where, 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 where that kind of thing can happen. I don't know. Um, so it's interesting how, how different locales, understandings of different com- uh, countries varies. So the other thing they were laughing at me about on the, on the Wookie Wookie podcast is, is I attributed, um, Chris to having a food podcast and I guess it's because that's the main one that they've mentioned. It's been mentioned several times. But apparently he currently has a Doctor Who podcast. Uh, and I don't remember the name of it. I actually was looking at his Facebook profile. I was hoping it was on there. And it, it was not. I did not see anything on his Facebook profile about um, the Doctor Who podcast and what it's called. He goes by Chris JC on Facebook, so I don't know if you if you search for Chris JC Doctor Who, you might find it. Um, maybe if you went to the Wookie Wookie website, which I did not do, I was looking at the Facebook page. Uh, they might have a link there. Uh, Mick, in case I didn't mention it, is uh, he does the Every Photo Tells uh, podcast with his wife Katarina. Uh, and that's basically where they offer a picture as a prompt and they invite people to uh, write a story based on that prompt and and then they podcast a story. Uh, the wife has actually had a story on that podcast that she wrote based on one of their prompts, uh, which it's funnily enough uh, she she took based upon uh, our visit to Edinburgh Castle in Scotland when we were in the UK a few years back. Uh, and then he also has um, a podcast novel called Some Other Scotland. This is at someotherscotland.com. So yeah, go check them. Go check their stuff out. Um, I would uh, encourage you to do so. And maybe what I'll do is I'll look at the. I'll, uh, I will look at the uh, Wookie Rookie podcast website. I think there's a website, an actual website. I will try to find his Doctor Who podcast, and I will put that in the show notes. So uh, go to penslinger.com, and you can, if you're interested, you're in the Doctor Who, I personally am not, so I'm not going to listen to the podcast. I, I like him on the Wookie Rookie podcast. He's got some good insights. He's uh, 
obviously a fan of Star Wars and he knows a lot about it. And so I would expect that he is equally good on his Doctor Who podcast. So if you're into the, into the Doctor, I would um, say, hey, give him a try. Give him a try. In the uh, time-honored tradition of cross pimpage. But I think that's it for today. Let's see. Yes. I think it is for today. Today is... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Derp. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go ahead and stop this before I make a greater fool of myself. And... I'll be back tomorrow. So until then, be seeing you.